Greetings. Today we're going to put this ATI distributor in this Ford engine. There's the old one. Welcome to Faulkner Fixes All. Um, a viewer reached out to me to see how to put an ATI distributor in and we're going to put one in. It may not be like his or her application, but we're going to put ours in and maybe we can help some people. Um, yeah, ATI distributor and a Ford engine. Well, we'll see how it works. It's supposed to give you better mileage and uh, a little easier drivability and maybe some of these cold starts here in North Carolina. Maybe it'll help it out. Um, we have to install the distributor and we have to regap all the plugs to 50 thou and we have to use the 8mm um, spark plug wires which are better. The normal spark plug wires can't handle the load of the big uh, HEI distributor. But this kit they give you comes with the big wires, um, a new timing gear on the distributor, that's nice. This vacuum advance is adjustable with a little Allen wrench. Um, so what I did was um, I found top dead center. It's a little tiny itty bitty mark down there. Marked it with a red sharpie. It's there. <laughs> and then I rotated the engine by hand until it was close to number one. And it is. It's way far advanced though, apparently, with this old system. I might have to advance that new one that far too. I don't know. It's a little far advanced, but that's TDC right there. And um, I could pull a plug and check number one, but I'm not going to because I have to pull all these plugs and regap them anyway. So right now, we're looking for a 12-volt keyed ignition source. I believe I found one. I disconnected the um, ignition control module. This is probably what's going to fail, and this is why I'm doing this also, is these fail. This is probably the second or third one. It looks like it's remanufactured. Um, these fail a lot, and I don't trust them. And the Motorcraft distributor is pretty good. The uh, There's a little eyeball in there that does what points should do. And that lasts a pretty good long time. I'm just uh, a little... Uh, little hesitant about this old system Ma mainly I'm hesitant about this anyway with the HEI system the coil is built into the top of the distributor cap it's all right here so you don't have to worry about your coil you don't have to worry about this little ignition control module okay so right we're gonna find some keyed source so we're gonna go turn the key on is on and I disconnected I looked at the wiring harness uh, I looked at the wiring diagram in the manual and it's hard to really make out what's going on but I believe this big thick white wire to be a positive 12 volt source so here we go we're gonna jam it in there and sure enough we got we got some voltage there we don't know if it's 12 volts but I'll check that in a minute Anyway, so we'll go turn the key off, and uh, we'll see if that still lights up. Okay, key is off, and no power. Okay, so just for giggles, let's see if this is actually 12 volts. That would be good to test that. Get a little multimeter action here. Uh, let's see, we're gonna put it on DC something. Uh, where where are we at here? Right, volts. Right, DC. Okay, twenty. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we're at. That's a 20 volt scale. Let's go over here to the battery and just make sure that we got this right. Yep, it says the battery is, well I probably have the leads wrong, I do. <laughs> it's 12.58 volts. Okay, um, just to check. Yeah, I did have the leads wrong because 
Yeah. Okay, positive 12.59. That's a, that's a healthy battery. Okay, so we're going to go over here. And uh, let me go turn the key on. Keys on. Annoying seatbelt buzzer to the rescue. We don't want to miss out on that. Okay, so we're going to jam this positive probe in the white wire hole. And uh, we're going to put this on something that's ground. Yeah, we're not getting a very good ground. Uh, let's see here. It's hard to do this with one hand. Um, let's see here. How can we jam this in here? There we go. Oh yeah, yeah, we got it. Okay, so there we go. We know that that is, well, when it's grounded right. There, yeah, it's, I'm trying to ground it on something here. Uh, let's try that bolt. Yeah, 12 volts is getting to that white wire with the key on. Okay, so we're good. I'm pretty sure this is the wire to use. And if it's not, I can always plug everything back in and put this junky distributor back in and get happy. But I don't think I'll have to. Okay. So the instructions say, disconnect the battery. And we're going to. Always use these protectors, the mice really like them. Okay, so the battery's disconnected, it's on TDC, top dead center, and we would confirm that by pulling number one plug, but since we're going to have to pull these plugs and regap them anyway, we'll confirm it then. Okay, so uh, we, we dealt with the fact that this is the wire to use, it has 12 volts with the key in the on position. And now the key's off. Okay. So, let's see, I guess I'll go ahead and pull the distributor. Let me see if I can set this camera somewhere. It's not really a tripod day. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Rest right on the old ignition module box that's coming out. <laughs> Actually, I'll probably leave the ignition module box in. Um, just for the fact that if this doesn't work, I can always go back to it. A lot of people like to clean up everything and omit everything out of the engine bay and all this stuff. And that's great. Um, but I'm kind of going for durability here. And uh, I would like to be able to put it back together. If it fails, I'm not saying it will, but if it does, I'd like to be able to put it back together. Uh, just in case, you know. Yeah, these Ford, this Ford coil pack, this fits on your coil. I really don't like that. Back in the day, you'd have a little eye ring and a bolt and keep everything clean. But this is their idea of making it easier on you, I guess. I'm not quite sure. I really don't like these. They fit. They fit on these little pegs. So you can't use this coil for anything but this style. Normal coils have bolts and little fittings. But they've made it so there's no way to reuse that at all. But I'll save everything because if this doesn't work, I can put it back in. All right, so we're getting this one out. Let's see if I can get this bolt out here. It's way in there. This might be a two video deal. It's, it takes a while to upload these videos and uh, if I keep them about 15 minutes, they're not so bad. Uh, and that bolt is really ridiculous. I don't do you any favors. They don't want you taking this distributor out ever. Yeah, if I keep the videos kind of short, 
and I can upload them. So this will be a two-parter. We're going to take this one out and we're going to uh, drip some oil on the new seal of the new distributor and we're going to stab it in there. And then in the next video, I'll do some basic wiring. We'll fire it up, see what happens. Uh, it's not going to be perfect because we have taken it out of time. And you know, it was really far advanced. And I think that I don't think I ever adjusted the timing on this engine. And, uh, okay, we got it. Little clip, little machined, uh, machined bevel there. That's nice. That's forward for you. They, that's a machined part. That's not just a stamped piece. Uh, I hate to say about other manufacturers, but if this was a small block Chevy, that would just be a stamped piece and hold it together. Okay, we're going to take that rotor cap off. Well, there might be some called something else with electronic condition. Okay, so I think we're almost ready. Some wires are going to come with this, and we'll deal with that in a minute. So, okay. We know that this was pointed in between number five and number one because it was so far advanced. But we'll just say the clip is, you know, close to number one. So when we put this back in, we want this rotor, the rotor on the new one, to be facing right down like it's like it's hitting the oil filter. We want it to be... We're just keeping in a mental note where that is because we're going to pull this out and we're going to put the new one in. Okay, we're 11 minutes in and I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> okay, so wires are going to come out with this and this is going to spin a certain way. Spun back. Okay. Oh man, I think it lifted the. I think it lifted the. Hmm. It lifted the rod out with it for the oil pump. Well, that's going to be fun. It's definitely going to be a two-part video. That's it for now. I got to figure out about getting this oil pump rod off and uh, positioning it in the correct manner. Um, the distributor looks like it's the right one, um, but it, you know the new distributor does not come with the oil pump shaft, and I might have to clean up some debris there so it doesn't fall in the engine. So next video, ta ta for now.